Hello, Widen. Welcome. Uh, widening tax evasion scandal, which has already brought down one prominent German business leader, is now threatening relations between Germany and the tiny European country of Liechtenstein. Chancellor Angela Merkel, meeting with the Principality's Prime Minister in Berlin on Wednesday, said Germany expects greater transparency from Liechtenstein on the issues of money laundering, fraud and tax evasion. And that's the call coming from Brussels too. The EU could now threaten to hold up Liechtenstein's pending admission to the bloc's Schengen free travel zone in a bid to put the principality on the road to reforming its banking laws. The tiny principality of Liechtenstein is a financial powerhouse and a well-known tax haven. Only 35,000 people live here, yet financial institutions serve hundreds of thousands of accounts. It relies on discreet banking services to attract foreign assets, anonymous accounts protecting a customer's identity and nationality. It's a prime choice for those engaged in tax fraud. But Liechtenstein is also under pressure to become more accessible as it maneuvers to join the Schengen Accord. Tourists, traders and business people are all benefiting from Europe's expanded border-free zone. Late last year, nine further countries joined the Schengen zone. Most of them are in Eastern Europe. Schengen includes 24 nations in all. The landlocked principality of Liechtenstein is due to join Schengen in November, as is Switzerland. The EU has already ratified Switzerland's membership of the border-free zone. But not with Liechtenstein. Switzerland and Liechtenstein have extremely close ties, including a joint currency and customs regime. There are no border controls between the two countries. But there are on Liechtenstein's border with Austria. As Austria is a Schengen member, that crossing is an external EU border. If Liechtenstein joins Schengen, these border controls would also be scrapped, and that's the aim. But if Switzerland joins Schengen and Liechtenstein doesn't, Switzerland would also have to introduce controls on the two countries' joint border. The currency and customs union with Switzerland would collapse, leaving a tiny state in the middle of Europe surrounded by external EU borders, a state that cannot exist without Europe. And earlier we spoke with our correspondent in Brussels, Jeff Mead, and we asked him whether he thought the EU could use the prospect of exclusion from the Schengen Agreement to gain more leverage over Liechtenstein on transparency issues. It can try, but of course, um, being considered a tax haven is a big advantage for a, a country, particularly a small country, and it's big business for a place like Liechtenstein. So, yes, of course, uh, Liechtenstein does want access to the Schengen area to open up its borders, but at the same time, it also wants the big financial flows coming into the country thanks to its status as a very advantageous place to lodge big sums of money. So. I, I think it would be a tricky one, and I think if Liechtenstein had to choose between the one or the other, it would want to continue to be a tax haven. Now, does the EU, EU have a, a common stance on this issue, or, or is Germany alone on this? No, it, it, it's been a tricky one for years, this. The, the, the question of EU residents pushing their money offshore to make huge financial gains. And the EU has made great strides in, in countering this uh, move. There is the Savings Tax Directive, which ensures that there is a, uh, an interest deducted at source for EU residents whose money is, is outside the EU. There's a Money Laundering Directive, which limits the amount of money that people can just move in and out of the Union with, with, without anyone checking what it's for or where it's come from. So there, there have been moves which have slowed down this, this, this loss of funds outside the EU to offshore havens. Um, so efforts have been made, they have been partly successful. But even so now, there are places like Liechtenstein and of course Switzerland, other places where it's very advantageous for those with serious amounts of money to lodge their cash. Well now, Liechtenstein uh, does say that it is willing to cooperate with EU countries over tax evasion, but that the issue is complicated by the fact that uh, the member states have their own tax systems. Is there any sign that the EU uh, is reaching its goal of a uh, harmonized tax systems? No, tax harmonization is still an ugly phrase in the European Union. It cuts to the heart of uh, financial national sovereignty for member states. Even those who, who agree with the single market, the single currency and everything, tax is very much a national fiefdom. And uh, that's the difficult third part of this tax savings, uh, money laundering, and then tax harmonization, this trio of initiatives which, which could actually curb the move of money out to tax havens. There's no sign that tax harmonization totally is anywhere close in the European Union. Jeff, thanks very much. Jeff Mead in Brussels.